Okay, Assalamu Alaikum. Thank you very much, viewers. Thank you for joining us, Nas. Back, uh, we've got a new panel with us, um, all changed up now, uh, and we're going to be discussing something um, a bit of a twist to charity, um, involved with charity. But um, I'm sure the brothers uh, will, will uh, discuss their kind of involvement with helping humanity. Just a reminder tonight, um, charity night tonight, and tonight's appeal is helping humanity. We're focusing on the iftar appeal. So we've heard uh, previously from the uh, presenter uh, and the imam that we're doing iftar packs from as little as five pound to feed a family. Also, the kind of group cost, uh, we're doing a 50 pound pack as well, which can feed a, a family for up to the whole month during um, Ramadan. Uh, and, and we kind of discussed the difficulties, uh, especially in Bangladesh, um, the heat and... Um, I mean the the conditions that that they're living in and that they're having to fast. Um, it's quite difficult even in the UK, but with the trade up in Bangladesh, those who are quite poor, living in poverty stricken areas, it is quite difficult for them to kind of fast during this holy month. Um, we discussed some stories where they're not going through suhoor and iftar. They're not they're not sure where it's coming from. So, I mean, as part of tonight's charity night, Helping Humanity are here, uh, we're doing the iftar appeal. Um, now, I'd like to uh, turn my attention to the guests um, who are here with me. Um, if the brothers would like to uh, introduce yourselves, um, just the, your name and um, just a bit about yourself, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll kind of take okay. it from there. Um, my name is Saiful. Um, I'm a, uh, we're all teachers here. Uh, I've been for about 22 years now, um, and these are all my colleagues from, from the department at Chadwell Heath um, Academy. Asalaamu As Alaikum, uh, my name is Zahir. Um, as Sarkar introduced, I'm also a teacher at Chadwell Heath uh, Academy. Uh, I teach ICT. Excellent. To my left. Asalaamu As Alaikum, my name is Kashim, and as you probably guess, I'm also a teacher. <laughs> teacher at the same school, <laughs> um, just teaching over a decade now, and um, pass it over to my colleague. Assalamu alaikum. Um, my name is Ferdas. I've um, been teaching for eight years now. Um, started off about two years after um, Brother, Brother Kashim. Um, yeah. Excellent. All right, that's introductions down. Um, those who are watching at home, I, I'm joined with a group of teachers who have been involved with helping humanity. And today, I mean, tonight we want to find out a bit more about their involvement <coughs> with this charity and what it is exactly that they've done. So, um, yeah, I mean, who wants to start off about telling us? I can see you're all wearing the same T-shirt. It yeah. says Tough Mudder. So, uh, Tough mother. so what's that about then, guys? Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go first then, go if ahead. you don't mind. Um, well, basically, uh, a Tough Mudder is a obstacle course um, that is run all over the world. Okay. Um, they call it one of the most toughest, um, di most difficult obstacle courses on the planet. Okay. Um, but obviously that depends on the level of fitness that you have. Um, so we started, we, we, we did the half one um, last September, um, which is just over five miles. Um, and, you know, we found it so exhilarating in terms of the kind of goals, personal goals that we were able to accomplish, things that we would never have been able to dream of doing. Yeah. So just uh, um, a few days ago, we took part in the full Tough Mudder, which is uh, just under... Uh, about 11 miles wow. this particular course was very um, hilly gradients um, and full of obstacle courses some of which are basically really really extreme um, to give you an example we had to jump into a, a container full of ice and you know you jump in and you're coming straight <laughs> back up again whilst we were doing this um, this um, course we thought about the obstacles that each and every one of us face. I mean, we all like we are all professionals. Um, we are of different health and um, um, uh, physical uh, abilities, and we thought to ourselves that these obstacles that we are going to be overcoming is very, very similar, um, but no way near as the kind of obstacles that orphans would face. And Helping Humanity is a charity that we know helps uh, with orphans in Bangladesh, okay, okay. Uh, with orphan children. So we felt. Here is a fantastic opportunity where we can link the kind of obstacles that you have to overcome to the kind of obstacles that orphans will have to overcome um, in their lives, in their day-to-day -day lives. This is voluntary for us, but for them, it is something that is enforced upon them. Ah, excellent. 
Yeah, How about so yourself? Do you want to share your experiences? Yeah, I mean, as, as Kashin mentioned, um, the easy thing for us, we, we could recover quite okay. easily after, well, most of us could recover quite <laughs> easily after about a day, day or so. Um, but, but the unfortunate thing is that there are orphans out there who, who don't have this recovery. And mm. so when we were enduring the, the, this, this, this course, yes, we could, we could take for granted that we were going to go home to, to, to a nice house. We've got food there and warm clothing and so on. But you have to also think about the bigger picture in this. And, and there are orphans out there. There are, there, there are children who are losing their parents all the time who don't have this. There, there are obstacles all the time who don't have the luxuries that we have. Um, and, and that's why we, it, it was a heartfelt need for us to raise money okay. f for, for these children. Um, I'm a father myself, most of us are, are fathers here. So we, we, you look at your own children and you think what would happen to them if it was in a, in a, in a situation where they didn't have us. So um, it's, it's a heartwarming one, a heartfelt one that we had to do. So even though it was 11 miles and it was enduring, it was a tough course and there were some obstacles that we couldn't even do. Um, at the end, it was very enduring, but at the end, we, we could go home. Um, but there, there, are ch there, there are children there who can't do that. So mm. it was important for us to do that. But also, it's important for us to, to think that this could be the first of many now missions that we could do for, 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 for raising money um, with you guys. OK, yeah. OK. So w would it be correct um, I if I was to say, uh, I mean, we talked a lot about obstacles and I can make clearly link a symbolic <laughs> Was there any specific reason why you guys decided um, to choose a specific group such as orphans to raise money towards or for? Um, yeah. Um, well, like uh, Saiful mentioned, that many of us are fathers okay. and we look into our own children's eyes and there are children without mothers or fathers and especially in a country like Bangladesh, um, if you've been there, those of you who have been to a country like that, you'll see that there's so much need for an average adult, a regular adult, that looking after the orphan isn't that much of a priority in some of these places mm. where the orphans have to fend for themselves. Oh, you're right, yes. And, you know, I felt specifically as fathers, as, as parents, we felt that need, that dying need to, you know, if, if there's one uh, community of people that we can um, have an impact on, um, even very little. I mean, it's very little. I mean, we raised, alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah, we raised just over two and a half thousand pounds, Mashallah. including gift aid, um, from our own friends and families. And jazakallah khair um, to all the people that did donate. Um, may Allah reward you and increase your donations tenfold. Amen. I mean, um, so this is why one of the primary reasons why we chose orphans. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, we're just about to go to Azan break now. Uh, we'll be returning um, straight after. So please do join us again straight after this Azan break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Um, to the viewers that are joining us, um, this is live on Bangla TV. We're helping humanity doing our Ramadan appeal um, 2017. Um, I'm joined with um, my guests here. Uh, I've got brother Saiful and brother Zahir on my right. I also have Brother Firdaus and uh, Brother Kashim on my left. Uh, the, br the all <coughs> professionals, teachers, and we were just discussing about the obstacle course, the grueling. 12 miles, was it? 12 11 miles. miles. 11 miles. You can say 12 miles. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Let's round it up. Yeah. yeah. So the grueling 11 miles obstacle course that they went through. And the brothers were just sharing their experiences uh, of the obstacle course, uh, the various things that they done and took part in. And it, uh, they raised, I think, over 2,000 pounds, which is a, a tremendous amount. Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept this, uh, this amount and their mm. efforts from them. Uh, and in specific, they're raising money for orphans as well. So the brothers told us their motivations behind that. Um, uh, Brother Kashim, do you want to quickly remind us uh, the motivations in terms of why it was uh, orphans you chose in specific? Uh, yeah, uh, so um, as I said previously, um, we are all fathers and we have children of our own. So we understand, you know, the, the dire need if one of our children was perhaps alone without someone to look after them and then you think about all the other orphans that exist around the world and how they have nobody to look after them and especially in a country like Bangladesh um, where even an average adult has a difficulty looking after themselves and, they, and, and therefore uh, as a society the orphans are neglected even further. 
Okay, all right. Just been informed there's a there's a phone call. Um, uh, could you take take the phone call, please? Hello, Salaamikum. Salaamikum. You're live on Bangla TV. Hello. I'm not sure what's up. Hello, Salaamikum. Can you hear me? Hello, Salaamikum, Kola. Hello, Kola. Salaamikum. Okay, I'm not sure. I think uh, there's been some technical difficulties. I'm sure the caller will call back. Please do call. We've got the donation line in the studio line um, just underneath. So please do call and we encourage uh, viewers to call, share their experiences with us as well. Um, right, now I want to speak a bit more about the kind of the build up and um, the feelings you felt after and before your kind of um, experience as part of this Tough Mudder course. So, uh, do you want to talk a bit more about that? Sure, I mean, uh, for me, this journey started in September. I mean, this is after they did their uh, half Tough Mudder. Okay, okay. I wasn't part of it. Um, right. um, I mean, it's the, their encouragement. Um, Kashim, Brother Kashim actually uh, said a few uh, words of motivation, and that's constantly encouraging me as well. <coughs> and uh, obviously, that with the chance of uh, being able to help the orphans, that was, a, was a, the bigger motivation. Um, that encourage us to uh, obviously take part in this event. Um, the build-up, obviously, there's a lot of planning involved in terms of uh, getting yourself to that physical fitness. I was level. about to say, it yeah. does push your kind of limits it, it, in terms of fitness. It does. Uh, it's quite tough. It's quite tough, matter for a reason. Um, so, um, it's a lot of training involved. Again, I'll have to thank Brother Kashim here, <laughs> who uh, voluntarily uh, helped us out. In sorry, I think we've got the caller back. Let me, sorry for cutting you off. Let's uh, take this caller. Um, hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, caller, can you hear me? Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. I'm not sure we're having quite a, <laughs> quite a bit of technical difficulties. <laughs> sorry, Frank Gordon. Oh, okay. Uh, we, we, if the caller calls, we, we will go back to the call. Sorry, you were saying? No, saying the, um, obviously, to get us, uh, I was nowhere near the fitness level required to attempt uh, something like this. So, uh, I was just saying that uh, Brother Kashim, you know, helped us out a lot of uh, um, ways in giving up his own time to uh, show us, you know, a few uh, things how to get ourselves to that level in terms of fitness-wise, uh, okay. training and so on. Yep, um, so there's a lot of um, excitement to the, uh, obviously in terms of the build up. In terms of okay. the build up. Just immediately prior to the event, though, <laughs> things are slightly different. A um, lot of nerves kicked okay. in. Um, obviously, hello. Uh, hello, Slaunikum. Oh, sorry, we've got the caller. Slaunikum, caller. Hello. Hello, Slaunikum, can you hear me? Hello, Slaunikum. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, it didn't track by the call. Okay, you're live on Bangla TV now. Oh, I'm um, I would like to donate 500 pounds. MashaAllah, takbir. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Please Allah Allah. me and my family and the Muslim Ummah, please. Okay, Amen. then. I will do. do you want to introduce okay, yourself? Do you want to introduce yourself, your name, or any message that you want to share out? Sorry? Do you want to tell us who you are, sister, we are calling from, and uh, yes. any message you have? Yeah, my name is Nisha and um, the, the message is to make dua for the Muslim Ummah. Okay, and Jazakallah, thank you very much for your humble donation. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, yeah, we got the call line then. But yeah, now tell us a bit about how you felt straight after. After the event. Um, so now this is after 11 <laughs> miles of obstacles and grueling. And tired. electrical wires. Yeah, electrical <laughs> wires as well. Yeah. Tired, fatigue, battered. But uh, there was an incredible sense of achievement though afterwards. Okay. Uh, pride being able to do something mm. like that. Um, for me personally, I didn't think I'd be able to uh, complete the whole thing. Okay. Um, but you get that pride. How long did it take? What was the? It was it was about um, five and a half hours. Yes. Um, wow. We have different paces and and, and strengths, but the idea wasn't to um, finish first. It wasn't uh, a race. No, no. Okay. That, that, and we had to get that clear. The, the whole point it was it was a team building Perfect. exercise. Okay. Um, we started together and the aim was to finish together. One of our brothers w w w w found it quite hard after about six, six and a half miles. Okay. And the aim wasn't to leave him alone and, and to finish first. It was, to, it was to get everyone together, motivate each other. Um, and, and that's where the time went as well. Um, okay, okay. But the idea was to start together, finish together. But when we did finish, it was, it was very, very 
Uh, it was just a, 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 a rewarding. A, a rewarding um, I think we've got another caller. Let's let's go to the caller yeah. very quickly. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum, caller. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. You're live on Bangla yeah, TV. Yeah, Salaam Alaikum. Hello. Yep. Go ahead. Introduce yeah, yourself. Hi, um, I wanted to make a donation of um, 90 pounds for me oh. and my family. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. May Allah, Allah accept Allah. your donation. Um, can you um, kindly keep my late granddad in your thoughts, please? We will do, inshallah. May Allah um, reward him abundantly. Okay, thank you. Okay, then, Jazakallah. Thank Absolutely. you very much for your call. Yeah, sorry, you're saying. Um, no, the, the idea was just, just to make sure that we finished as a team. Okay, okay. Um, because we started this event, not it wasn't just a fitness thing. It, it was it was to raise money. So we raised money together. Uh, we put the, 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 the feeders out together. So we collected money together. Mm. And the idea was to go home sharing the same experiences. Um, okay. And it was never about I was stronger, I was faster. It was all about making sure that we started from A, ended up B, Together, Power, together as a team. Yeah, and, and, and there were some obstacles that we could do together and some we had to miss out. But it, it wasn't about that. The, mm. the idea was just in, to ensure that we raised the money. Uh, inshallah we have. Uh, alhamdulillah we have. And, then, and, 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 and we crossed the line. And, and our next mission is next year. Who knows, we try something Inshallah. else. Inshallah. Inshallah. We, we will talk a bit more about that before yeah. we finish this segment. But um, uh, if we could kindly request uh, for the video to be shown so the viewers at home could kind of get an idea of uh, exactly what it is that you brothers kind of took part in. Um, so could we have the video to be aired? While they kind of get ready to air the video, um, Brother Ferdus, let's get you involved a bit more. Tell us a bit more about your experiences. Yeah, um, I did the half one la last last year, um, and having done that activity, um, I realised that I need to build up my fitness a lot more for to obviously do the full one. Um, and leading up to the course, um, we were literally going to the gym at least twice twice a week. Okay. Um, we were, had some intense um, routine, um, waking up you know, early, going for, for jogs out, out in the streets. Um, we signed up for 10k runs um, in Olympic Park uh, just okay, to get okay. our endurance up. Um, so this kind of charity efforts kind of built your fitness as well? It's, in terms it's, it's uh, building up fit fitness as well as we're um, looking at um, how else can Fantastic. we contribute to, you know, to, um, to, to, to humanity is by, you know, Making them find and um, donations, and you know, getting people to donate and work for the course mm. that we're trying to um, to achieve. Um, but it has been a an experience that is going to be going to be follow us through the, for, for a lifetime, and it's something that we're going to look back at and accomplish. Um, you know, an activity that it's going to take us, you know, from quite quite far. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, in terms of, in terms of in the future, um, we are planning to obviously do have more activities have more. Um, for for the future for more, more donations and you know, more charities um, to to, okay. to. I think they've got the video ready now, yeah. so let, let's have a video. Let's let's see um, uh, if you could request for the video to be aired, so everyone at home could um, get a glimpse. Eleven miles. That's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and when I see pictures out there of, of orphans, it really, really breaks my heart. So that's the reason that I am um, putting money towards orphanage and at the same time trying to keep it. This is going to be the hardest physical endurance event I've ever done in my life. And then I just started thinking about, you know, there's orphan children and there's nobody there for them. And every day they have to go through difficult challenges and obstacles. Everything you can do will go a massive, massive thing for them. But just doing the activities, it just it wasn't enough, so we had to obviously do something extra, it's raised money for charity, and what we chose is obviously for, for orphans. I want to do it for the, um, for the orphans in Bangladesh. I think the lads have done a tremendous Thank job you. in um, their fundraising efforts for what is an absolutely fantastic and very worthy cause.
Fantastic, fun, messy. That that was just amazing, really. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Um, do you want to explain what we just watched there? Um, yeah, it was, it was fun. It, uh, there was uh, there was a lot of um, hard work involved, as as I mentioned before about the train that li led up to it. But um, there were some unexpected obstacles there, um, and the ice bucket, uh, the ice one was 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 the one that really. Okay. Captured you. I mean, re re <laughs> it, it, your body really sort of seized up then. Um, but overall, it was just a nice, enduring one. Uh, as I said at the end, it was you know, it, it was it was an exciting feeling when we finished. We had to go through. What we didn't see was the, was some electrical wires we had to go through. Um, what well, live you looked? The live wires, and you could hear the little buzzes as you go. And so you're, you're running through that one, and you're getting caught each time. Um, and that sort of was the finale, and that 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 was a nice bit. But. Um, I mean, it, it was fun there, and I just want to talk about the charity bit as well, yeah, if, no, if, go you, if you don't mind. I mean, yeah, no, that, no, that was ahead. a fun day, um, and at the end, I said, I said this before, that, that we could go home to warm um, beds and food and so on, but uh, yeah. the idea behind this is that there is a misconception that charity can be boring. There is a misconception Absolutely. that charity just has to be, you know, just go online and, and, and donate, but there has to be a cause there and, 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 and something important. But you can sort of see, you can, you can combine fun and charity raise money for, for good causes at the same time and that's what we did because last time we did the five the, the half tough mother but there was something empty as well because we did that for ourselves we did okay. it for fitness but there was no other we didn't put any any money towards any charity so it was important this time that we could sort of do two things at the same time okay, okay. Um, and it was funny and, and we had well, lots it certainly of, seemed yeah. fun I mean and, it, and it wasn't <laughs> just the, the, the donations uh, mm. that were coming in it was the kind words from family and friends that coming in as well the support the reassurance that everything would be okay um, and, and alhamdulillah everything w w went to plan alhamdulillah. did you find that fun Yes, it was <laughs> the toughest thing I ever done in my whole life. Um, okay. There were there were times when I was actually felt like I'm gonna give up. Um, All right. Mm -hmm. But then obviously my friends um, they you know spurred me on and it's pretty much we were talking about that kind of yeah. team effort. Yeah. Everyone kind of pulling everyone together and it the support from them definitely you know it has you know pushed me f further. There was um, one activity where I had had my foot down. No, I'm not gonna try that. Um, I was freezing, I was literally wet, um, and energy was all drained, and they said, no, nah, go on, you need to have a, at least have a go. And I tried it, and I accomplished it, and when I went to the top, I was like, you know, wow, I've, I've managed to do something that I've, I wouldn't have done with without the support that I've, that I've received from my, from my colleagues. Um, but it's, yeah, it's an experience that's going to be, you know, amazing. Yeah. That's great. Um, Asalaamu Alaikum for those who have joined us, um, I'm here with uh, Brother Saifu, Brother Zahir, uh, Brother Ferdus and Brother Kashim who are all teachers and um, they took part in the uh, Tough Mudder, um, apparently uh, the most toughest um, obstacle course. Um, we'll talk a bit more about that in a sec, I think we've got a caller. Um, hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum caller. Salam. Salam. Morning, Salam. Um, you may want to switch the TV off or go to a separate room. There's a bit of feedback coming. Assalamualaikum. Well, Assalamualaikum. Well, Can you hear me? I, uh, I just want to. Yeah, br brother, you're going to have to either switch the TV off or go to a separate room. There's a lot of feedback coming from the TV. Okay. Uh, I just want to say. Um, I donated on the web page. Okay, mashallah. And uh, I just want to say well done, especially to my uncle Fergus. Is your uncle here with us now? Yeah. Go on then, uncle. Go ahead. All right. Thank you, um, Adil. Um, your donation. Tayyip. Is it? Tayyip. Tayyip. Okay, thank you. Um, and I'll see you, I'll see you later. Okay. Um, 
Any any Ooh, other any other guy. any other message you have? Oh no, it's okay. Okay, no, thank you, thank you very much for your donation and thank you very much for calling. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Kola. <coughs> um, yes, uh, Uncle Ferdus um, has definitely noticed what you've done. <laughs> and then I'll just uh, speak to the viewers who've just kind of joined us. Uh, I'm here with Brother Saiful Zahir, Ferdus and um, Kashim, uh, who are teachers, professionals, and they got together on a joint venture and they completed the Tough Mudder, which is an 11-mile grueling obstacle course. And they managed to raise over two thousand um, pounds, alhamdulillah, um, which was donated uh, in, in partnership with Helping Humanity, which was the charity which they nominated. And they, in specific, were looking to support and provide assistance to orphans. Um, I mean, we're here today with the charity appeal, uh, focusing on iftar Ramadan 2017, and um, we are appealing out <coughs> to the viewers and audience to um, support us with your donations. Please spread the news to your friends and families and neighbours. Um, get them to engage, uh, call us, make donations. Um, as little as a pound could feed a fasting person during the month of Ramadan. Fifty pound um, a Ramadan iftar pack <coughs> can be purchased, uh, which will feed a, a family throughout the entire course of Ramadan, which is 30 days. Okay, we have another caller. Let, let, let's take the caller. Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Can you hear me, Kola? Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam wa Rahmatullah. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, brother. Uh, my name is Saeed and I'm uh, another tough mother, just like my brothers um, in, the, uh, in the studio. Oh, fantastic. Um, I'm Saeed. I couldn't make it today. Um, sorry, boys. <laughs> Any message? Uh, any message? You're, you're all looking good. You're looking brilliant. Thank you, Saeed. Well done. It's a shame you couldn't make it. I couldn't make it today, no. Okay. But I uh, just want to yep. add a few words and, you know, just say that it's, um, you know, it was such an experience for us and, um, you know, I'll, um, something that will sort of live with me for the rest of my life. And uh, Alhamdulillah, it was, it was such a great, great experience. And more so that we, we did it for, for a really good cause. You know, that just makes it, it, it gives, gives us that personal satisfaction. You know, it's, it's brilliant. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's such a great thing, as Prophet Saifu said, you know, we, you know, the charity doesn't have to be, um, you know, boring. You can make it interesting by, you know, making awareness like this and getting involved with these sort of events. And um, you know, it can make it much more interesting and much more fun. And we don't, we don't really work. We, we had no idea that we'd be able to raise this sort of, um, uh, money in, in the beginning, but uh, you know we got there at the end, and we've uh, exceeded it. Mm. And, um, uh, to be honest, I think it was an you know, excellent achievement. Um, completing and, um, the course, inshallah, it's given us a lot of motivation, and we want to go and carry on, and inshallah, maybe do um, another one next year. Inshallah, sure. uh, inshallah. But, you know, some of the other brothers brothers probably can. Oh no, definitely, we're encouraging um, the viewers at home, the young audience, to definitely um, take this as an example, and uh, and. Um, embark on their own journeys uh, as Definitely. groups and yes. teams and uh, raise money for similar causes. Um, of course, yes. If you could yeah, um, share with us one of your best experiences taking part in this kind of journey and completing this uh, grueling course, what, what would it be? Um, I think it's just that, you know, that, that personal satisfaction you know, that you ah. get. You know, that after, after crossing that finish line, you know, um, you feel a, a sense of satisfaction that you've done it, you know, because in the beginning, especially as a I, team I had, as well, I had no idea that I could do this. You know, ten to twelve miles, and some of the brothers there, they've already done the, they've already done the half uh, tough mother. Yeah. And um, so they, they were going in with, with with a bit of experience, and okay. we've never done we've never done the half one, and you know we're, we uh, we had to we we did a full straight, and um, it was quite daunting in the beginning. Um, and all sort of things all sort of, uh, comes to your mind, you know, will I be able to do it? Am I going to get get seriously injured? Will I be able to complete it? But I wonder that we did, and um, you know, the fact that we, we, did, we, we did this for a cause, you know, that sort of pushed us to get to the finish line, you know, that we're doing this for a good cause, we're doing, doing this for these little, innocent, beautiful little children, you know, um, you know, we need this money. And I think that sort of urged us on to get to that finish line. It was great, such a, such a great experience. Fantastic, thank you very much for sharing your experience. And thank we are missing you today. Uh, shall we move on to the next caller? 
Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Yes, Hello. Alaikum Asalaam. Can you introduce yourself, please? Where are you calling from? Asalaamu Alaikum. Alaikum Asalaam, Musa. Um, my name is Musa. Yes, Musa. Go on, Musa. I'm calling from my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's my son. Oh, oh. fantastic. Yeah. Come, Musa, do you want to say something? You got a message for Daddy? Um, I'm just saying that my dad has really encouraged me to do it when I'm older and he's been like injured. Oh, wow. That's right. He wants to do it when he's 16. You have to be 16 years old and then you can do the run with me, son. Inshallah, his training Inshallah. starts now then yeah, I guess. He's already <laughs> asking me, he wants to go on uh, weekly jogs with me and everything. Oh, he's putting me under so much pressure already and I've just recovered. So okay. I've told him I've injured. <laughs> I'm still injured. Well done to my dad. Thank you. Yeah, well Thank done, you, well done to him. <laughs> Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much for your call. Assalamu alaikum, Musa. Wa alaikum salam. Wa That's fantastic. I mean, it's definitely having an effect yeah. now. Uh, Musa's uh, pretty much... Um, boosted and ready yeah. to kind of take but, part in Shalom when he's 16. This, this is the sort of thing that, that spurs you on. When, well, when you have family and friends um, ringing up, um, it, it, it inspires you to do more next year. And this won't be the last one. We'll do more inshallah. 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 Fantastic. Um, now, I just, w I just wanted to um, uh, talk a bit more about the kind of experience. Um, I mean, 11 miles testing physical limits, um, raising money, alhamdulillah, over £2,000. Mm. I mean, fantastic. I mean, we talked a bit about how it's a different approach to charity. It's not your kind of orthodox um, making a list of people, approaching them. And, and it's something mm. um, you get at the end of it. I mean, you just took part in this amazing obstacle course as a team. Um, that team spirit was there throughout. Um, I mean, what would you like to pass on or convey to, to your donors? Is there any messages you have for them? Anything of support? Definitely. Um, um, you, I just want to quickly yep. just, brush, um, well just touch on something that you mentioned. Okay. I mean, with this kind of events, a lot of people talk about the physical endurance and okay. the physical challenges. Um, but one of the things that doesn't get mentioned that much is the mental challenge. While you're participating, yes. to mentally to overcome those barriers, sometimes as a um, well, Fred had mentioned that one of those he thought he couldn't do, but once he got everybody's uh, support, he, he was up there and it's did that it. Team spirit, yeah. Team spirit. So it's, it's a lot of mental challenge that you need to overcome. Okay. And um, that kind of ties in with the charity and the uh, offers that we need to, uh, we're trying to support here. Um, God knows what kind of mental challenges they have to overcome mm -hmm. every single Certainly. day. Um, we know their physical conditions, mm. they live in poverty hardly go, go by, you know, um, I don't know how much food they get during no, a day. No, you're right. Yeah, so um, we can see the vis um, physical challenges is visible, but the mental challenge is there. Um, mm, you know, that's true. It's something yeah. that they're kind of living with day in, day yeah. out. Exactly. Whereas, and, um, whereas you, <coughs> brothers, um, it was a choice that you made. Exactly. They're not privileged to have that choice. No. They're born into it. So it's, it's, it's definitely mm. a, a mental challenge as well as physical challenge, yeah. definitely. So, um... I know our experiences compares nothing with the orphans, but those mental challenges, we can overcome those mental challenges. And if we can help others to do the same, and um, you mentioned about, I think, giving advice. Yeah. To, yeah, but I mean, as long as we can motivate ourselves, nothing's impossible, we can achieve, or we can overcome boundaries, then we should push ourselves. Fantastic. Any messages to your donors? I'm sure they're watching um, attentively. Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to pass on a quick message to all of the donors. Um, the ones um, that I know and the ones I don't. Maybe friends and um, family me uh, members of uh, my colleagues here. Um, I just want to say one thing. First of all, um, you know, we really, really appreciate the donations and they were so generous. And as Saiful mentioned earlier, that some of the messages were very heartwarming and, and motivating as well. We couldn't let you down. Even though, you know, I myself, um, I suffered an injury about a month before uh, the, the, this event. Um, I, I went on a 10k run and, and I hurt my knee really badly and I thought I couldn't run for this event. And this event is all about running. Um, but I couldn't let my donors down. I actually went on 
um, to the course and actually managed to complete it. And it's, it's the will of Allah that I was able to do this. And going on to um, uh, ability itself, um, you know, when we donate money, it's not something that you decide that you want to give. It's something that is placed within you by Allah. It's, it's actually a, 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 um, a, a blessing to be able to donate money. Well, very much so. Not everyone is in that fortunate mm. position, even if they have the money. That's to give, right. Even if they're able and willing to give. That's right. How often, you know, um, have I, you know, sometimes I've walked around on the street thinking, you know, well, I've got some money. Um, and I wish that I meet someone homeless or someone um, waiting outside a Tesco so I can buy him some food and get to him. And I could, I've got the money in my pocket and I couldn't find that person. Mm. I couldn't find that person. And there's been times when I've walked along the streets and I've seen a, a poor person or somebody who's in need of money. And I put my hand in my pocket and I don't have enough or anything mm. to give the person. And so this is an ability, a tawfiq that Allah has put into us. And all those people who have donated towards this orphan project, I just want to say to you, you know, feel blessed that Allah has given you the ability to make that donation. Mm. And that's what I, I no, just no, want to pass that on to you. Definitely, I think that's a very powerful me message, brother um, Kashim has just passed on to the donors and also um, to the viewers who are watching at home. Um, the ability to give, um, it, it's certainly a privilege. Um, not everyone is able, as he's given examples, um, that sometimes you want to give, but you're not in a position to give. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's an appeal out uh, to the viewers at home, really. Um, whilst you're able to, whilst you're in that mindset, please um, do give generously. Especially in the build-up to the month of Ramadan. Yeah. I mean, we are here <coughs> for this Ramadan appeal. Um, and appealing for as little as one pound to feed a fasting person during the month of Ramadan for him to kind of break his fast. Um, I mean, it, the, the rewards are just... Um, endless to be honest I, I, when it comes to kind of counting i don't think you'll be able to kind of match with numbers or figures uh, the kind of entirety of the blessing and the words that are kind of available um i just want to speak to the brothers now um i'm sure there's young audience watching at home um maybe old audience as well who probably are thinking of doing something similar to this or maybe want to um, put the idea across to their friends or family members mm. or their kind of colleagues as well. Um, what advice could you offer them, of, offer the viewers at home, offer um, other people who kind of are in a position that they want to they wanna do charity but at the same time they want it to be fun but they're a bit stuck, they don't know how to go about doing what. What mm. is the advice that you could offer them? I think the, the essence is, is keeping it fun um, okay. because this is a long term thing. I mean, it might have been five and a half hours, but if you look at the bigger picture, there was a lot of training involved, a lot of preparation involved. There was a, a change in diet. There was a change Certainly. in exercise, the whole thing. So you have to be able to enjoy what you're going to do okay. uh, at the same time, enjoy the, uh, uh, the, the rewards there. And, and, and putting the charity aside for now, um, in terms of... Uh, if, if they want to do a, a, an event like this, it, it is a, an endurance exercise. So they have to start off small if they haven't done anything so, um, big like this before. Okay. You're talking about 5K runs, 10K runs and so on. Build that up. Start to enjoy that. And at the same time, start looking at charities like Helping Humanity um, and what they can offer to humanity and society. At the same time, why they're getting the fitness up. But the, the, the most important thing is, is, is enjoyment okay. because it's not just a one-day thing. It's something that leads up to that day, so you have to enjoy the whole thing. And also, like we're we're, we're fortunate to have, have, have brothers who 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 work together and mm. wasn't and, and were very very selfless okay. uh, and 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 made sure that we worked as a team. So finding someone, uh, uh, brothers sisters out there who can work together and do what we've done, and it's just it just shows that we, it's possible out there. Um, no, to raising two and a half thousand pounds for a, for a good cause. Um, all the, 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 the phone calls that we get in now, the good, the, 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 the reward from there. So, alhamdulillah, it's all, it's all worked out well. I mean, it's very much, um, as you mentioned, the actual event was, I think, five and a half hours yeah. on the day. But it's pretty much that journey, I guess, the yeah. entire journey, yeah. um, that special kind of, I guess it also increases your friendship as well, mm. yeah. in a sense <coughs> as well, going through that kind of journey yeah. together. Yeah. 
one goal, one aim, and yeah. um, kind of everyone's yeah. taking. And and also, and it's not just about being with Muslims. I mean, we had we had non-Muslims with us. Exactly. As you yes. can see from 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 the VT. Was very clear. One of which um, supported us morally with the T-shirt. He actually wore okay. the Helping Humanity so, okay. T-shirt. It's not. It's not just about. Uh, uh, Religious, religious as mm, always. It's no, no, just getting not. together, mm. whoever it is, brothers and sisters, getting together and working as a team. And, and we were, as I said, we were very fortunate that, that, that we all worked together and came out together um, um, uninjured as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Hungry. Just to um, um, talk about um, the camaraderie um, that we had okay. on the day was amazing. Um, you know, you mentioned the course took five and a half, half, five and a half hours. Um, it, it doesn't, you know, it takes as long as your ability of the group takes. Um, some of, all of us have varying levels of fitness. Um, and as Saifu mentioned earlier, one of our comrades um, got injured at um, I think the six mile marker or something. And there was you know, five miles left to go. But pretty much like halfway into it. Half, yeah. Pretty much halfway into it. They were, comp you know, they were the walking dead at one point. <laughs> You know, and I joined them actually uh, towards the end. So the last few miles, <laughs> I was the walking dead. I, I literally could not run. I barely could walk. Um, but we didn't, you know, we, we didn't just leave them behind. You know, we weren't annoyed with each other. We weren't annoyed with them. That you know, oh, you you, you spoiled the day for us. You went whole, you know, year preparing for this. Two of our fastest and fittest went back, and they took turns in giving the person a piggyback. And oh, wow. even at one point, carrying that person on their shoulder, and was so Fantastic. much appreciated. And you, see, you know, that is really heartwarming to see. That brotherhood, really that, that brotherhood, kind of bond. that brotherhood. You don't leave them behind. You're not going to lead them to their own devices. Um, you're not going to say to them, you know what, we'll meet you up at the end once we finish, because you're slowing us down. Mm. And it doesn't matter how long it took, right? We finished. We started the course together, we and we finished the course together. Yeah. And the, the advice I'd like to give to people is, you know, it can bring people to closer together. It can, you know, uh, you know, the kind of uh, things that you'll experience, the kind of bond that you'll grow between yourselves. You, you know, it's amazing. It's totally amazing. And just for that alone is, is worth it. On top of that, obviously, you know, if you can uh, collect money for charities, do your bit for the local community and whatever else. Okay, okay, fantastic. How about yourself, Brother Feldus? Any advice to viewers at home, young viewers who are thinking of embarking on a similar mission? Um, think of something that interest you and I say just go ahead and plan it and go for it um, as Brother so, Saifal just mentioned obviously start start small um, start with small activities first but first thing is you know just get your foot, foot in there do it you know go go and do the activity and then realize you know that what else you can do to build up on that um, at the same time find you know ch a charity that or, you, know, you can you can support um, then two and two, you know, you do doing something, something fun, as well as um, building up, obviously, um, ch building up donations you know, for the charity you'll be, you know, you'll be doing it for. <coughs> um, How was your strategy in terms of um, approaching potential donors? What what kind of helped? What worked well? What could you say about that in terms of advice? Um, well, we got the uh, BT donate, okay. uh, w which is still actually live, oh, actually okay. currently. So we, we've left the uh, donations running through Ramadan. Okay. Okay. So Fantastic. if any of our um, uh, viewers here or friends and family who haven't had a chance to donate, you still can donate. Uh, if you go to BT, uh, try to remember this, BT donate, btdonate.com yeah. forward slash Chadwell Mudders. Okay, okay. Um, hopefully they can put a link on there or something. Okay. They can still actually go there to donate. It's running until the end of Ramadan. So inshallah we can, you know, we've surpassed that target. Um, inshallah we can raise more because, you know, what is the target? It's a target is only what you set. Yes. And, you know, the, these orphans, they could do with all that help. They can do with more support. Mm. Okay, so, um, you know, that's still running. So we use BT Donate a lot. Uh, we created flyers okay. uh, through, so we can send that through social media um, and some of us have really well uh, good co contacts through Facebook ah. and other social media so they advertise it there um, they let their friends and family know about it and um, at regular intervals we uh, reminded people you know okay, okay. Through, through these different devices of social media and um, uh, you know we also spoke to people as well we phoned people up close friends and family members um, and said you know please I'm, I'm doing this um, event um, if you could, would like to donate please support um, them and, and we, you know we wrote a heartfelt appeal on the front page of BT Donate uh, uh, which people could read um, uh, uh, and obviously um, that's how that's our primary 
methods okay. of, do, uh, so, of so, donations. So social media is quite big then in terms of um, fundraising nowadays. I mean, it, it's around a lot nowadays, social mm. media. Mm. I mean, everyone's on uh, different social uh, media apps, social mm. networking apps. And I guess social media is just uh, accessible, really. I mean, we're yeah. always on our phones. We've, we've always um, carrying yeah. phones around. Yeah. So, and uh, I think it was quite in interesting, uh, Brother Kashim, you mentioned the kind of regular updates. Mm. Uh, um, a few times I've realized um, when I've done charity appeals myself, where uh, you send out the initial mes me message and you s um, blast it out, told you, and then you kind of forget about it. But mm. I think it's kind of reminding people yeah. at the same time that the that it's still live. Yeah. And, um, I mean, um, you know, you send it out to people, and some people do intend. Sometimes you get the message, and you might be in the uh, you know middle of a work exactly, day. Exactly. Yeah. And you think, you know what? Tonight, later on, I'll go and 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 go on the page and donate. And you know, you have it that many messages come after that and mm. then it gets just buried deep down Lost, inside. Yeah. I had one brother who um, phoned me or, t or messaged me the day after I did the event just to let me know, you know what, I have donated. Okay, you know, okay. I haven't forgotten, so Fantastic. thank you. So people do donate, it's just uh, forgetfulness sometimes. Mm. So all those people who haven't had a chance to donate, um, you know, please remember uh, the link is there on your text messages and uh, on your phones and on your Facebook uh, things, you can still do that. No, definitely. This is a charity appeal, so um, I urge brothers who have forgot to donate to make sure they donate. And we, we are here as part of helping humanity um, during the Ramadan 2017 iftar appeal. Uh, we're asking for as little as one pound to um, help support someone who's fasting throughout the month of Ramadan, help them, provide them with the basic iftar. Fifty pound gets you the family pack. Um, you could feed uh, an entire family for up to a month during that month of Ramadan, that period. Um, j just a reminder as well to viewers at home who are interested in donating or who would pass the message on to others, um, we're also accepting um, uh, zakat money, so you're eligible to um, donate that. Uh, I understand there's a lot of charities out there nowadays and also um, charities, sometimes zakat is kept uh, within the family, those who are kind of poor back home. But I would urge you to, a portion of that, definitely um, donate it towards uh, helping humanity and our iftar appeal. Um, there will also be events we'll be holding in Bangladesh um, where we'll be inviting two, three hundred people, uh, poor people who are unable to kind of afford meals and uh, invite them to break their iftar with us. So I, I urge um, viewers at home to please make donations. Uh, the number is... Uh, under, underneath you had the donation line, uh, our bank account details are there as well. Um, also call up the studio line as well, uh, so you can share your experiences. Uh, you can also confirm your donation by calling us, which may encourage others. I think we had a donation of £500 earlier, and another donation for about £90. Pounds. So, um, Jazakallah Khair, thank you very much for your donations. Make sure you keep them coming. Um, start, start telling uh, other friends and families about this kind of charity. Um, I mean, we are on Bangla TV. I'm going to do a bit in Bengali now, so uh, our Bengali viewers um, at home uh, kind of understand um, the guests that I'm joined with and what they've kind of accomplished. <coughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum. I'm the Bangla TV room as a live charity appeal khurram, uh, helping humanity die 2017 Ramadan abong iftar appeal under khurram high school. Kompoke ekta pound dos de afnara donation do e ek pound de ek zon manchore khawai to farbo istar tar pore amda phone chash pondi khoram istar or pek ekta e shara ruzar mash ek family tara istar khorta farba so tish din or dai khani do boi bo tara re ebong afnara zakator foisha fitrar foisha amda re dita farba tole de amda donation or line ase Tar for the studio number was a few days studio phone call. I am the local law for the Bank or detail was standing order was the after set up for a phone di. Baro mashe baro phone. I baro phone to inshallah baro zon manchure iftar provide khora zaybo. Ar inshallah Allah Allah kabul khorta afnara khushto zene ar donation dan afnara zara afnara zara khorba. Inshallah ar khoyba afnara atiyosho zon family friend bundu thara shokol khoyba zene helping humanity iftar appeal. I'm the Khurram Bangla TV, I school, I'm the Barata Barata Kiasi. I school, I'm the Logone Panolo Aso in Soiful by Zahir by Kashim by Gon Ebong Ferdus by Tara Ara Yazar Pound of Fretara Dolahor Soin Ebong Donate Horse and Helping Human Team Tara specifically the voice a team who retains Zara Tarade. 
এথিম জেরা মাবাফ না অসহায় যারা তারার দায় একটা ডোনেট করেছে আমরা একটা প্রজেক্ট আছে আমরা হেল্পিং হিউম্যানিটি থাকি আমরা এথিম যারা আসই মসজিদ মাদ্রাসা তারার আমরা সাহায্য করি তারার লেখাপড়া এবং হানি খরচ ওগুলোলে আমরা তারার সাহায্য করি এবং তারা একটা কোর্স কমপ্লিট করছে নিকটারে তারা রাখে টাফ মাডা তো একটা তারা বারো বারো মাইলর দেয় একটা কোর্স তারপরে বিভিন্ন কষ্ট আছে এই কোর্স পানির ভিতরে ঠান্ডা আইস ঠান্ডা পানির ভিতরে হামিন লাগে তারপরে বাকা টিল্লার উপরে আটটা যাওয়া লাগে বারো মাইলর দেয় সকল তাই তারা লাগছিল সাড়ে পাঁচ ঘন্টা কমপ্লিট করতে আর তারা হইতে চাই যে চ্যারিটি যেগুলো আল্লাহ খাম যারা তারা খররা পয়সা দোলা খররা যারা দান করছেন পয়সা তারা জানায় রাখতা চাইরা আপনারা ভিউর যারা গরু আসুন যারা দেখলাই চ্যারিটি একটা খুশি এবং ফান জিনিস হইতে পারে ফর্তি সময় নাই যেন একটা বোরিং একটা জিনিস আপনারা পয়সা দিলে একটা খুশি এবং ফান হরতা ফারবা তারা থাক ঠাকমাডার বিভিন্ন জাতি ইভেন্ট হল আছে তারা অর্গানাইজ করাই ওই রো দৌড়ানির ইভেন্ট সাইক্লিংয়ের ইভেন্ট তারপরে স্কাই ডাইভিং আর একটা আছে বাক্যা পপুলার হয়েছে তারপরে ট্রেক হল আছে আর তারা যে একটা করছিল অবস্টিকল কোর্স এটা খুবই ভালা সাড়ে পাঁচ ঘন্টা তারা অনেক তারা কৈছিল যে খুব কষ্ট হয়েছিল তারার বাট তারা সকল একলগে শুরু করছেন এবং একলগে শেষ করছেন তো এটা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট তারা একলগে যেন শুরু করছেন একলগে শেষও করছেন সকলে তারা একলগে ফয়সও দোলা করছেন আলহামদুলিল্লাহ তারারে আলফি সালাম আর থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ তারা যেন খুব কষ্ট করছেন একটার দায় So yeah my Bengali was a bit um uh, rough there but um, I hope uh, I done a good job to the uh, Bengali listeners and viewers who are out there um who have joined us live um helping humanity iftar 2017 appeal um where we've been joined by brother Saiful Zahir Kashim and Ferdus um who are all teachers um I think they teach in the Chadwell Heath area and they embarked on a uh, journey uh, completing the uh, tough mudder obstacle course uh, apparently one of the most uh, gruesome and grueling obstacle courses in the world a 11 mile trek um run run yeah 11 mile run um five and a half hours it took them as a team it is a team effort um they continued as a team effort although the highs and lows but they managed to complete it in the end and they raised a amazing two and a half thousand pounds which was for the orphans project through helping humanity uh i, I mentioned a bit about um the orphans project um we facilitate with education feeding um health um we're looking at these needs of orphan children in bangladesh um actually when i was in bangladesh um last december um i, I helped helping humanity with the winter blanket appeal and we we had orphans uh, come up uh, um wanted to receive aid uh, they were provided with blankets but something that touched me um was i think at the rail station um i found three <coughs> two brothers and they joined with, an, with another all under age i think they're about 10 12 and 8 and they were sleeping in a potato sack in the corner of the rail station uh and quite naturally we gave them blankets but it was interesting to hear the story that they're orphan children and they, they used to collect plastic throughout the day that in they trade this plastic for some money so I'm talking about bottles yeah. things like that they trade it for a bit of money and that would kind of get them some food so i mean i that was a very powerful interview i had and an image that was left with me uh, when i left my trip from bangladesh and um it was just the uh, thought provoking really on, on my way back on the plane i was thinking about i mean their future what are their outcomes mm. like mm. in life um at, at such a young age being abandoned mm. um i mean in western countries in the uk we've got a welfare system yeah. social services which you kind of take these cases on but in third world countries like bangladesh mm. insulet um such provisions aren't available yeah. for them and it, it's quite worrying really how how they end up what paths they will take in life and where they will end up and it's helping humanity which seeks to target these orphan children uh to provide them with um, a a healthy life outcome food shelter um, clothing also education as well and 
in turn it's it's this idea that we don't want them to be dependent on charity all throughout their life we want them to be able to make changes yeah. um, and kind of sustain their selves um, gaining skills um, so they can kind of bring money for themselves look mm. after themselves look after their families mm. it's pretty much th that that essence that, that 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 we kind of focus on with our kind of orphans project but um uh, yeah um i want to speak a bit more about this stuff mother um, for those who are joining us um fantastic way to raise money through these kind of social events um challenges treks um runs um i mean what does the future hold for you, Professor? Well, this is, I think, is the start of many things. Okay. Um, I th I th as I said, we, we did the half one last September, but we didn't re raise any money. Oh. Um, and as I said, it, it felt empty. So it, it, it was essential, and I think it was the word essential, that we not only did the full one, but we, we raised money for a, for a good cause. So. Um, the likelihood is that the, the, the same group of us, if not any more, more of us would like to join, would do another event. Nothing's been planned yet, but inshallah next year, okay. um, we do another big event. Um, and, and the idea is to bring more money, more rewards uh, 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 to help those in need, um, whether it's more orphans or anyone who, 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 who is less privileged than okay. we are. Um, because as I said, we, we take a lot of things for granted, um, like when you went to Bangladesh, but you, had, you came home. No, sir. Um, no. no, like we came home, but there are people here permanently without anything, so. Jazakallah khair, Brother Saifu. I think we're about to shoot off to a break now, so uh, please join us straight after. Um, Bangla TV, Helping Humanity Live Appeal.